Naruto versus Sasuke or Adachi versus Hichikawa. Probably not the best comparison to make, but last episode was pretty much to fight a duel between men to get their feelings across. And hey, even though Adachi may have won the battle, we still win the war because he sees Kyo, the shitty handwriting from Yamada, and he realizes I am wasn't the king. Classic blue lock borrow moment. We saw Arashi's mom too, don't got my answer answered. I was like, what does she do on a daily basis that she comes to school like that after work wearing fucking fishnet stockings and leopard prince jackets? She a nurse? God damn, I need to go to the hospital. Let's begin. Please reaction. Good morning. Already that hungry, huh? Summer uniforms? Summertime. He's the only one without the summer outfit? Are they shorter? Is it lighter? What? Why are you... As I'm lifting your skirt up? Same, I hate summer. Hey, even he switched outfits. Okay, we're setting up for golden week. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I know it's a huge deal in Japan. And basically every anime just goes on hiatus due to golden week, right? Yamada, ah, panda. Oh, leaked. Leaked. What's up, teacher? School trip groups? We're going on a field trip? Uh oh. 6, 10, 12. Is that contradict scheduling? Movie? Oh, that's gotta be a big deal, right? The school trip is then, but her whatever movie gig that she was saying about, you know, it's probably overlapping. I'm down. Still, yes. I want a confession, man. Oh, wow. Confident enough to go ask now. <laughs> yeah, I'll do you a favor. It's not like I want to join or anything, but if it's like he's still got a spot, uh, come on. Wow. I mean, we can still be roommates. Who the fuck is Tepe Yamada? Obviously? What do you mean, obviously, Kazaki? You know you fucking with me right now. I've never heard of this guy in my life. Scheduling. Yo. If directly staring at her wasn't enough, we could just stare her at her reflection through the window and look at her that way too. Just ask her, bro. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, really? I thought that she was looking at the scheduling. I think it still is the scheduling, but okay, the manga that, you know? The uh, rom-com manga that she really likes. So there is a kiss during some sort of trip. So we want to reenact that moment. A kiss though? If we get a first kiss and like... I think we're at a point where going out can happen. But I'm not sure. A kiss... Kiss is like after going out. You can kiss before going out. But if you place... If, if I'm going to rank in, in things of like priority of like what's more like... What should happen first in rom-coms and how it like kind of teases you? I feel like a confession should happen. And then kiss can happen after they fucking stall and farm out the, you know, the fucking content of them actually going on dates now and being awkward of like, oh my god, do I go in for the kiss or not? But with two episodes left, I don't know, man. Maybe. Oh, I thought it was scheduling. Umbrella? Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting oh, 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 oh. Doki Doki. Doki Doki. <laughs> this is how the kiss is gonna happen. I love how he's the guy. I, I, I love how he's always the bottom in these situations, right? Because, like, usually this is like, you got what the Yamada yeah, yeah, is doing right now, going in for the kiss. It's like the guy, and then the girl kind of stands there and just closes her eyes, right? And just lets it happen. Like, it's always like that. <laughs> School camp Nagano Kyotaro Ichikawa. He wrote this? Yeah, you are. 
Yamada. Ooh, FaceTime. Is that the volume? Is that the volume where the first kiss happens? Oh, the faded volume. Got it, got it. I can't go because it's scheduling. I can't go because it's scheduling, right? Of how important this is. So, like, she's trying to think that, like, she can't go. I don't want to let you down, but she sees that book and how happy or how much Ichika is looking forward to this. So Yamada will sacrifice her career for this field trip is the implication I'm getting here. Turn the cam off. She's crying. She's crying! She's crying! Yeah, that's not, not a good sign, man. She's crying, she's crying! It's not fine, bro. Uh oh, oh no! Banana energy. Is this the bullet train? <laughs> Nothing more emasculating. Than not being able to reach heights and your girl gotta help you do it. Uh huh. Bullet train. Every five minutes? Does Yamada's. Oh, Erine! Sorry, Yurine, what the fuck? Yurine is our. Okay, alright. She's very. She's definitely on the spectrum. <laughs> she just wants to know what love is. She finds Ichika such a such an interesting creature. She just stare at him like this. <clears throat> Can I help you? <laughs> oh, never mind. It was really for the window seat. Okay, never mind. I thought that she was staring at Ichika only. It's the outside view. Never mind. <laughs> Random apartment. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> what? Am I allowed to talk to each other? He's too nervous because it's Yamada's boy? Is that a warning? Yeah, Kan Kan. <laughs> she's already... <laughs> Basically, stay under the radar, right? Because she's really, really trying to force that mob flash, confetti, dance shit. And I think that's still gonna happen next episode, right? The finale should have that. So then how's it gonna happen? The school field trip will solidify their relationship and then next episode is the dance? Or maybe next episode is when they discover that they are like that and then there's a dance? Either or could happen. Mm -hmm. Cap. Cap. Everyone knows, bro. No. I don't want to be. Having a crowd to force that seems ingenuine. I feel like it should happen privately. No one else needs to see that shit. No one else is involved in that shit. There's something between me and her, right? It feels weird to be forced to do that. Next one is June 12th. Next one is June 12th, right? The scheduling conflict, right? Well, they were talking about the movie audition, whatever it was, but we could be getting baited here too as well. Who knows? What's up, Bayashi? Shiko. 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 Deer crackers. Where's Nokutan at? You think she would eat the deer crackers? She has the deer crackers. You think she's gonna eat the deer crackers? I'd be so funny if she didn't even give it to the deers and just ate it herself. Shiko. Uh -oh. That's a deer army. Chica. Wow, they didn't even use CGI for the deer like a Nokutan, huh? It's actually hand-drawn deer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Using the fucking mask to cover her eyes so they can't fucking see this. Okay. Is she are we gonna ever able to see Kan Kan's eye like face? Like she's always wearing the mask, probably because she's trying to be chuny or something. 
All right. Yamada will be devoured by the deers now. Oh, Bashi. She might tell us the truth of what's going on. Bashi's gonna tip off, right? Kind of. Because she's doing this for each car right now. Looks like we're not getting an explanation. Yeah. The career ambition. <laughs> Yamada is actually eating, but it's the wrong Yamada. It's the other guy Yamada. Bro is actually eating the fucking deer crackers too. Is that shit edible? It probably should be, right? It's like the same idea of like cat food. Should a human eat a cat food? Fuck no. But like, you're not gonna die from eating it. <laughs> They are real deers. Ha 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 ha. Ooh. That Yamada face right there. She looks dead inside. That face, bro, the face she's making, she looks empty, man. Wow, surrounded by the ladies. Just confront her about her feelings. And their bill's gone. Holy shit, that was fast. Wow, we were thinking for a long time, huh? <laughs> Boys bath time. Where's Adachi at? There he is, speak of the devil. It's just straight up called Chimpo Battle. You're not even trying to hide it. There's no puns, no nothing. Bro, just say dick battles, let's go. Accidentally walked into the girl's bath. Wow, this isn't where I parked my car. Hold up, I'm 14. I'm not too chill. That's crazy, the line of sight right now from Kanzaki to Adachi right now. That's crazy, bro. Bro's looking directly down. He even makes commentary. Wow, you really did grow up from the last time I saw you. <laughs> Kanzaki's packing, bro. I mean, shit. If you're trying to get through hot as thick as cheeks, you know, you need some tools worth, you know. A woman of that size, I guess Kanzaki's fucking hung, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Maybe he's packing, bro. I don't fucking know. Mm. Size comparison. She's too big. Make every girl feel like they're nerfed. One thousand you per second? As they open the door. The boys? Yamada and Bayashi. Okay. Maybe they'll talk about what she missed out on. Let's talk about that. I don't think so. Not as, not as much as she could be. She's lying. Oh, hey, look at the schedule. What's in the phone? What's in the phone? You probably shouldn't look. You probably shouldn't look, but did he look? Is that all? Oh, there he Octave AD notification one before reminder 30. Kimiro is the manga. Octave AD is live action. So it's not. I don't know if she was auditioning for this. But if she was, that's a career opportunity lost. Or it's just simply a movie that she wanted to really see, but doesn't air. I, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking about that career opportunity, but now it's Kimito, it's the manga. Is she, it could be just, I ah, fucking know. It, but regardless, it has to do with the manga. AD is audition? Oh, shit. Damn. It's an audition for her favorite manga as well. That's fucked up. 6.12, right? 12 to 4 p.m. Well, this, uh... The school field trip ends on the 12th, right? So it's gonna be close. She's gonna have to get there by, like, 1 p.m. Gun, gun. Adachi? Oh, 
Stop saying that out loud so publicly, okay? Stop saying chimpo battle, bro. <laughs> Fine. Yamada's already gone. Nice save. Nice save. Arachi kind of clutched there, man. Literally. Are you sure you want to delete this event? Oh! Is there no possible way where she just skips out on the last day of the field trip and Mama, Yama Mama, Yama Daddy, you know, picks her up and then goes to the audition? Surely there's a way where we can satisfy her desire to, you know, hang out at the field trip with Ichika because Ichika is really like looking forward to it while at the same time not sacrificing her career ambitions. She can't delete it. What do you think that means, bro? Here we go, schizophrend. What? I don't think that's the way it's gonna work, but who knows? Alright. That's a, that's a prophecy from our schizo friend. Kanzaki, what's he doing? Okay. What the fuck was that? Oh, he's back! <laughs> okay, he's back! It's not, yeah. It's, it's different. Yeah. Talk to her. <gasps> Yamada! She's rehearsing the lines. <gasps> indirect confession again. Another indirect confession. Eavesdropping indirect confession time. I'm listening. <gasps> no! Who's Nigorikawa? That's not Ichikawa! Actually, even the Kawa at the end is kind of the same as Ichikawa, but like, that could be him, man. Ichikawa could be the man to be Nigorikawa, bro. Aww. Me too. More than anything in the world, I'm just saying I feel the same way about the tail. Man, this is so sad. She's sacrificing so much just for each cow, bro. Just goes to show how much that, you know, she cares about him now. No, you're not. This is sad. Each cow, bro, do something. Connect the dots, the fucking dots. First message, best reactor. You're goddamn right I am, Sir Pico! You're goddamn right! React Messiah! Alright, let's go. Oh, it's a It is. Yes, bro, come on, do something about it. Nah, our schizo friend is wrong. For once, he's off the point here. Nope. This is the only time. Nope, I don't care. I don't care. This is more important. We gotta fucking let her do what she wants, bro. This is not the time to be listening to our schizo friends. Let's go talk to Yamada, bro. For your sake. It's you, bro. The book. FaceTime. Yeah. He gets it, bro. He gets it. Damn. Damn. That's the scene where she was crying, and now he sees the truth, bro. He's seeing. It kind of takes a bit to realize what's going on, but once he starts to realize, he's very quick with it. Like, it's actually very... Like, he's not really dense. He may seem dense, but there is always a moment where he figures everything out really fucking well. Oh, now he's crying! Carte! Both crying, bro! I... <laughs> is it just gonna be I'm so stupid? <laughs> is it Carte? <laughs> is it gonna be... It's literally I am stupid today, bro? What's Carte 24? I... It's not... Want to tell her. He's going! That's right. Get out of here, Sensei! Exactly, it's her favorite! And then she has to give that up! Dude, the piano soundtrack is going insane! Kan Kan! Kan Kan! Oh, teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes. That's what that reference was. Good night, I wanna talk tomorrow. It's convenient, she's out? She's out right now! Yeah! Get her! Bailed out! Oh! It's a girl. Kobayashi? Hi! It's Kobayashi! So sad that Bayashi can be mistaken for Itsuka simply by putting a tower over it because Bayashi has no, like, 
It's not fair to say she has no feminine qualities, but you know, she's just a little kid. And thank you, Sensei! Oh my god. Yo! We just got thrown in a den of tigers. What the fuck? Uh oh! Bayashi! Kan Kan! Yeah, we're good, we're good. How are we gonna get out of this? What the fuck? What the fuck? That's it? Huh! Looks like this Kyoto field trip is gonna continue to next episode. I thought that today's episode was gonna be its own separate thing. The next episode, we handle the confession and stuff, the flash mob, dance stuff, and then we call it a season. But okay, we're having like an over... Like, I, I do enjoy when there's like multiple episodes to kind of tell a story. It's almost like an arc, right? So that's today's episode. What's going on? What's going on is Itsuka really was looking forward to the field trip. But unfortunately, Yamada field trip, it it like overlaps with their audition for her favorite manga. She sees how, you know, um, how much Itsuka is looking forward to the trip and decides to sacrifice her career ambitions. And that's why he's crying, man. So sad, so sad. But it goes to show how much each, you know Yamada actually cares about Ichika to do such a thing. Yurine, cute as hell, as hell as always. And listen, we may not have gotten the T-Rex scene in uh, what's it called, in fucking the classroom of the elites, but we got <laughs> dangerous in my heart, dick battle. So there's that man. And right now we're trying to figure out what's going on with Yamada, and he realizes that yes, she's basically sacrificing herself for us. Who's even giving a fuck about the kiss? That shit doesn't matter. We gotta get this girl to the rehearsal. We gotta call like Yama Mom or Yama Dad and say, Hey, pick her up and go to the audition. But well, next episode is the finale episode. It's gonna be a huge climax and I can't wait. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.